Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another Tits Beer for Tony Beer Review. Today, we're going to be looking at from the Railway City Brewing Co. We're going to be looking at the Witty Traveler. A pint's worth at 4.2% alcohol with 15 international bittering units. <coughs> so, Railway City Brewing is from St. Thomas, Ontario. Okay, um, it's water, malted barley, malted wheat, yeast, hops, orange peel zest, coriander, and white pepper. It's um, a Belgian style witty, wit beer, you know, wheat beer. Yeah, they're doing it uh, a wheat beer Belgian style. The witty traveler has finally arrived with spices from the east, the fruits of the south, and the yeast of the north enveloped in taste and aroma of fair flung places. He has stopped to offer us a point. Now, what I don't like about the label, um, it's like that plastic, shitty, fucked up label that I've seen used a small amount of times before, but not on beers, right? Not even alcoholic drinks for that matter. So the edge here has this kind of sharp plastic feel that just, I, I just don't like the feel of it. It's like this sharp, shitty plastic and it's just a shit feel for the can, but whatever. Let's see how Railway City's Woody Traveler is at 4.2% Belgian style wheat beer, basically. Still, I guess shake a little bit up in the can. I'm kind of doing a little ice roll, but it's at all moment. <coughs> Cheers. Whoa, that orange zest. Orange zest that does smell a slight little bit limey, like. An ale smell. Just like an ale smell, maybe a little fruit smell, and kind of like an orange zest smell. I don't know, just force it on and see what it gets you. It's noisy as I pour it from the can, I can hear some sound. The ale shake a bit up, it feels like it's a bit more. And I should be shaking it up at, but for wheat beers, we'll do that. Losing the head, so let's pour some more fast. See what happens. I guess head don't last on this too well. All right, now sit down. Okay, it's very carbonated. It does. Whoa, the rushing of carbonation. Um, the head's all gone. Very, 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 very fast. Kind of pale color look to it. Kind of between like yellow and orangey. Glass. We still smell orange, but differently. And I'm going to say I can pick up the white pepper. Maybe a little bit of the coriander, but just taste the wheat traveler and see how it works. They use a lot of the orange and a lot of the pepper. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's a little sweet. The texture of it is a little slightly creamy. Little. It has some refreshing aspects to its taste. It feels a little bit heavy body to me, just a little bit. But yeah, a lot of orange zest and a bunch of white pepper in it. After it's all dying out, I'm just getting like white pepper and pepper burn. So they went really fucking heavy on the pepper, even though it's the last ingredient. But I really fucking taste. Got a peppery taste in my mouth and a peppery burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It instantly starts off like, oh, this is going to be a refreshing, properly kind of Belgium um, white beer. Let me get a zesty orange, nice, refreshing taste. And like I said, the tad is a little creamy. But then the freaking white pepper busts open, and you taste a lot of white pepper, you get a little bit of white pepper burn. So, I mean, 
This would do better if it didn't have the pepper burn and the pepper taste was going down. I think that's going to be the only issue with this one. It doesn't ruin it or anything. But maybe don't even put the pepper in it. That, that would be a cool idea. Make a version without the pepper. That would be more refreshing. So you get the point of railway things with the travel. Update. 